Jewish and Arabs lived in Middle East for centuries, but majority of Jews started to live in Europe around 1100s. Europeans never wanted Jews in Europe, and they expelled Jews starting in 1182. Spanish Catholics expelled all Jewish population in 1400s, and they all came to Ottoman Empire because of the religious freedom. Portugal also expelled its Jewish population in 1497. During World War II, many Jews did attempt to flee from Europe. Balfour Declaration of 1917 issued by British government expressing support for the establishment of Israel in Palestine. Between 1920 to 1947, British mandate in Palestine governed both communities. Growing tensions between Arab and Jewish communities escalated as Jewish immigration increased. In 1947, UN recommended the partition of Palestine and Israel became a country in 1948. Gaza is home to 2.3 million Palestinians, half of whom are children. President Biden is giving Israel the green light to commit war crimes. Since Saturday, Israel has killed more than 1,000 Palestinians, including 300 children, destroyed more than 22,000 homes, 48 schools, and 10 medical centers. Citizens that live in this area are cut off from the outside world. Their unemployment rate is at 45%. In 2006, they held elections in Gaza and Hamas won the election. Since 2006, Palestinians blocked in from the air to sea and no communication with outside of the world. If Palestinians want to leave Gaza, they have to get permission from the Israelis, but it has to be a really serious situation. Gaza is the largest open air prison. No water, no electricity, and total blockade by Israel since 2006. Similar to Ukraine, the former finance minister of Greece, Yanis Varoufakis, said that he will not condemn Hamas for his attack on Israel. He held Europeans responsible for the current war in Israel, saying they should work towards peace. Irish parliament member Richard Boyd Barrett said, We challenge the Irish prime minister to acknowledge that the violence that we have seen in the last few days didn't begin with the events of the weekend, but actually began as a result of a 17-year-long siege. Richard went on to condemn the Israeli ethnic cleansing of the Palestinian people, the seizure of the Palestinian land, and the illegal settlements. Israeli occupation forces are using poisonous and banned white phosphorus in densely populated residential areas in the northern Gaza Strip. Why do Western countries act like they are blind? I hope peace in Gaza will come back soon. Let's pray for Palestine and Israel. Innocent people are dying from both sides. In a war, no one wins. Thank you for watching for my channel.